Hello, and welcome to Tuesday. So, today, um, it's going by pretty okay. Um, didn't really get much done, uh, which is a shame. Uh, one class, it was because of the instructor, and the other class was because of my own inability to get stuff done in a timely manner. Um, so I had my Microsoft Access test today, and <laughs> I broke Access. So what had happened was, I was trying to complete one of the steps, which by the way, the test I was taking was like an abridged version of what my professor had originally written up, and so there was, there were some steps that were removed and some steps that were not <laughs> and so one thing led to another and since it was like an open book open note basically open world uh, test um, you know I was looking stuff up and then I got to a point where I was like what is going on so I called the professor over and uh, she tried to help me figure out one of the thing, like trying to figure out some of the stuff. And then eventually it's it led into breaking one of the uh the curies, which is like a thing within a database that helps you create a new table based off of different components of the main database. So that happened. And basically every time um something happened that shouldn't have happened but it happened anyway because access is like hell on earth um my professor went I'll give you credit for that <laughs> so you know the test went on and there were only a couple of instances where where that happened and then we get to the final I get to the final step and I'm like what does this mean because <laughs> the step didn't make any sense whatsoever and she looked at it she looked at the figure attached to it and went, I have no idea what this is from. You know what? Skip it, and it'll be good. <laughs> so, I think I think I got a, a hundred on that just because um, I broke Access. Access is one of those programs where you cannot control Z because everything is its own little thing, and it gets saved and locked. And you can only move forward. You can never move backwards. And it's... Oh man, it's one big mess. So, let's see. Today is Wednesday. Did I say hello and welcome to Wednesday? If not, hello and welcome to Wednesday. So, one of the things I needed to, um, to do was um, finish up this, like, this in-between scene that the cast wanted me to write. And so it's just called the plan, and so there's there's that. I'm also working on my final project for um, AVP two, and before I start getting serious work on that, I'm also going to do my one to three minute skit, which is actually leaning on the three minute side. So I need to record the green screen footage tomorrow, get that digested which is a legitimate term, and um, get that prepped, and then get some people to do the music video portion. And that will be interesting to do, because I want to do it in like a one take. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, anything else? Um, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I got from Barnes and Noble and I had opened them up um, I handed the uh, to all all of those cards to Austin I was like here you go Austin you know take whatever you want take whichever one you wanted and uh, he he only pulled out one card which is fine uh, like I kinda expected that he'd just like hand the whole thing back to me but apparently there was a uh, one single 
first edition card out of all of that that he re that he really wanted. So that was nice. Um, I got my my deck boxes labeled, and um, Austin says I should like I should probably get a couple more um, booster packs, maybe one or two, and then I'll have a uh, deck ready. And I was like, okay. So you know, in the uh, <clears throat> in the future. Um, whenever you want to <laughs> challenge me to a game of Yu-Gi-Oh, you have to say, and I quote, let's do 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 duel Because, um, you know, it's a, it's the one Yu-Gi-Oh meme that I can get behind. <laughs> because, you know, it's applicable to any card game, or to any game, really. Just be like, let's do 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 duel so, yeah, um, there's, we, we have a new sound technician, so I have to print a new copy, I have to print a copy of the script for that person, wait, what? Um, that way they have that, and then I print the, uh, the new scene for all of my, um, cast and crew, and then print out 6.5 for sound and lights, so that, that can all be done, and, uh, Uh, just, I'm still better about the improv night thing. Uh, anyways, um, <clears throat> it's about nine. It's eight fifty-seven, so it's it's just about nine. Um, I'm going to finish up this scene, have it printed, and then get everything ready for um, tomorrow. Um, I had, I had Austin and Trey, both are DMs, um, for their own D&D campaigns. Had them look over my, uh, quests, which are actually in my bag. I thought I had them with me on hand. Um, but I wanted them to look over it, see if there's, uh, any question, comments, or concerns they had. Um, Austin, who looked at it. Who looked at it today, actually, and emailed me because he couldn't talk. Um, he said, uh, don't have the, uh, difficulty ratings on them, so I, I hid that call on it. I didn't delete it, I hid it. And then I had Trey look at it, um, seventh period, which is our off period, and, um, he was like, you know, your, your reward balancing isn't that good. Some of the um, higher difficulty quests don't really have a reward that's substantial. Whereas, you know, the medium difficulties have, you know, substantial rewards to them. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I asked some questions about, you know, the, the cost of the different ships, if those were fair. Um, the, if the legendary ships need to be nerfed, and also the quest for the legendaries, if um, they were fair. And he said everything about the ships and the um, the quests for the legendaries was totally fine. It was everything else, like all of the um, rewards need to uh, just be redone for medium and uh, from medium to extreme, because there's low, medium, hard, extreme, insane, and the insane level is reserved for the, um, the quest for the legendaries, because let's be honest, you have to do a lot of stuff, and then, I think for, um, 
the two AI ships, Daedalus and uh, Hellion, they'll get, um, they'll, they'll both get an additional, um, quest where you, um, find some means, means of, uh, getting them, like, a, like, an emergency body kind of thing, like a, like a droid, like an android or a robot that they can take over, so, yeah. <sighs> so I'm getting this printed over there, and then I got it to finish up <clears throat> 6.5, and then I will be done. That's going to take a while to print. Um, so, that's about it. Tomorrow, um, I just have, you know, rehearsal, and then Friday I have nothing. So, I'm kind of sort of free on the weekend. Not really. Um, I need to get episode 10 of Forced Unleash edited, and then set everything to upload. Alright, so... I will see you guys tomorrow.